Hi there, it's Nicole Porter here. Welcome to this week's Wellness Insider. In this video, I'm going to address one of the top five reasons people come see me for wellness coaching, and that's low energy or fatigue. So today, I want to explain to you why a really simple solution can have a huge impact on your energy levels, and that solution is proper hydration. Now, if you know anything about my business, you know that we are not about hacks. We are all about simplifying information to help you better understand your body so that you can make more informed health decisions in the future without relying on us for advice. So today, I want to explain exactly why dehydration is directly linked to low energy. Now, in your body, you have a cardiovascular system that moves blood throughout your entire body. There are three main components to this system. First of all, your blood. Second of all, you've got a network of veins and vessels and capillaries. And third, you've got your heart. So your blood contains things like red and white blood cells. The red blood cells help to transport oxygen to trillions of cells that make up your body and brain. The white blood cells help to fight infection. You've got platelets that help your blood to clot. It also includes something called plasma, which contains nutrients and glucose from your food. It contains fat and hormones and enzymes and antibodies. It also contains water. About 50 to 55% of your blood is water. Now, second of all, you've got this massive network of veins and vessels and capillaries. In fact, this network is about 60,000 miles long. So the job of this network is to transport that blood, all of these nutrients and hormones and fats and water to these trillions of cells that make up your body and brain. Third of all, you've got your heart. It's this muscular organ. Its job is to actively pump all of this blood through a 60,000 mile network to these trillions of cells. In fact, your heart pumps about five liters of blood through this massive network to these trillions of cells every single minute. Now imagine two scenarios. Scenario A, you've got blood that's thick like paint. This is dehydrated blood. It's heavy. It's thick. It doesn't have a flow to it. Imagine how hard your heart has to work in order to pump thick dehydrated blood through this massive network to all of these cells. So that's scenario A. In scenario B, you've added a little paint thinner. You haven't added paint thinner, but you've added some water. So this is hydrated blood. If you imagine this hydrated blood, it's lighter. It has a flow to it. It's more fluid. It's easier for your heart to push this blood, this hydrated blood, to all of these trillions of cells, again, through this massive network. So my question to you is, in which scenario does your heart have to do less work, and therefore would your heart be less tired? Well, if you picked scenario B with hydrated blood, you are correct. This is the scenario where your heart has to work less and therefore expend less energy in order to get the job done. And this is exactly why dehydration can be linked to fatigue and why proper hydration is linked to energy. So I will leave it there for today. If you have questions about this video or other questions in general, just submit them via the link somewhere around this video. Make sure you subscribe or like or follow us wherever you can. And I will see you in next week's Insider. Until then, be well.